Welcome to Word Bites Friend, where I share bite-sized messages that bring big time changes to you. I'm Wumi Ademola. God is a promise keeper. As far as he is concerned, when he makes a promise to you, when he releases a prophecy over your life, he will never break his word. He, will, he has every intention of bringing it to pass. Numbers 23, 19 says that God is not a man that he should lie. Neither is he the son of man that he should repent. Has he said it and will he not do it? Has he spoken and will he not make it good? Every prophetic word that is spoken over you, God has every intention of making good on that promise. However, you must realize that no prophecy of God, no promise that God makes to you is self-fulfilling. There are certain things that you must do for God's word to come true for you. So today, let's talk about the three things you must do if you want God's promises to come through for you. Number one, you must not despise prophecies. You must not despise, look down on the word that God promised you. 1 Thessalonians 5.20 says, do not despise prophecies. One translation actually puts it, explains it better. It says, do not treat prophecies as if they will amount to nothing. So whatever God has promised you, Understand, regardless of how impossible it seems, do not belittle it. Do not despise it. Instead, believe the word that God has spoken to you. Believe that God is able and God is faithful to do what he said he will do. Luke 1 45 says, Blessed is she that believes. And if you're a man, blessed is he that believes. For there shall be a performance of the things told her from the Lord. So if you want the things that God told you to come true, you must believe. You must not despise prophecy. Now, the second thing is this. You must not despise small beginnings. You must not despise small beginnings. You need to understand that whatever God has promised to do for you will take a process of time before it becomes fulfilled. 1 Samuel 1.20, this is what happened to the woman Hannah. God had promised her through the mouth of prophet Eli that he was going to give her her long-awaited son. However, 1 Samuel 1.20, we read that it came to pass. What God promised, it came to pass in the process of time that Hannah conceived and bore a son and called his name Samuel. So whatever God has promised you, just like Hannah, it's going to take a process of time. But if you want that prophecy to go the full length of time, as it's unfolding in its small phases, do not despise small things. Do not say, you know, what is this? This is not what I asked God for. It's going to take a process of time. And as it's unfolded in its small phases, rejoice. Praise the name of the Lord. Do not be downcast and do not look down on the small beginning. Zechariah 4.10 the Bible says, do not despise these small beginnings, for the Lord rejoices to see the work begin. So you must rejoice with the Lord. You must switch to praise. Father Abraham, when God promised him Isaac, the Bible says in the process of time, while he was waiting for the full manifestation of the miracle, Romans chapter 4 tells us that he rejoiced. He rejoiced and he gave glory to God. So that's what you got to do too. You've trusted God for a, a, a raise of $10,000 and all you got right now is probably $5,000. Don't despise that. Give glory to God. You're trusting God for a child, but so far all God has done for you is that you're married. Don't despise. That's the beginning of the miracle. Give God praise. You're trusting God even for a huge contract, maybe a contract of $10,000 or $50,000 and all you have is $1,000. Do not despise that small beginning. God is at work. God has started the process and just rejoice. Bible says don't despise small beginnings. Instead rejoice to see that the work has begun because guess what? You are confident, as the Bible says in Philippians 1, 6, you're confident that God who began a good work, he is faithful to complete it to the very end. Now, last but not the least, if you want the promise of God to be fulfilled in your life, you must not despise the instruction of the Lord. You must not despise the word of God. The Bible says, the Bible says in Proverbs 13, 13, the person who despises a word of instruction will pay the price, but the person who respects a command will be rewarded. This is extremely important because for every miracle, every miracle that God's going to perform in your life, every promise, every prophetic word is attached 
instruction, at least an instruction, if not more. And if you want that miracle to become manifest, you must do exactly what God says to do. Mary in John chapter 2, that was what he to she told the servants. She said to them, whatever he tells you, do it. And when they did, you see, they were wanting wine. They had no wine. And they were wanting wine. And Mary told them, whatever Jesus tells you to do, you just do it. And the Bible says in that portion of scripture that they did what Jesus said to do. And ultimately, the water was turned into wine. I tell you, your turnaround happens at the point of your obedience. Your obedience to the instruction of God. So my friend, there are many things God wants to do for you this year, 2020. Many promises, many prophecies that have gone ahead. If you want them to come true for you, number one, do not despise the prophecy. Number two, do not despise its small beginnings. And number three, do not despise the word of instruction that is attached to the fulfillment of that prophecy. Do these three and I promise you just as the Israelites in Joshua chapter 20 145 testified that not a word will fail of any good thing which God has spoken to you. Every single promise will come to pass in Jesus name. Well thank you for watching today. I do trust you were blessed. If you've not already done so Please subscribe to this channel, Knowing God Media. All you got to do is to click the red subscribe button and also don't forget to click the notification bell so that as soon as an episode comes out, you will be the very first to know. And of course, follow all our social media handles, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. God bless you. See you next time.